Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and we survived the eclipse. The lights are still on. We're good to go. Um, we are uh, we're excited about this NBA slate on Taco Tuesday, uh, April 9th. We've got a massive 14 game slate. A lot of uh, a lot of deciding factors to be had um, as the West and East teams are fighting for playoff spots. Uh, should be a good one. Uh, we have four plays for you. Uh, before we get into the plays, though, if you haven't uh, signed up for Prize Picks or Underdog yet, use promo code Backdoor for Underdog, and uh, just use the promo code at the bottom of the screen for Prize Picks. You're going to get a deposit match on both of those, and um, for Underdog, you get some instant pick'em specials too. There's a link in the description of the video if you guys have not signed up yet. And if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell because these plays move on us pretty quick. So if you want to be on top of the value, just make sure your notifications are on. And if you guys don't mind, do us a favor and like the video. We've been forgetting to say it lately and uh, y'all been slacking. So take a split second, press a button and uh, hook us up. Help us get to 11,000 subs. We're real close. All right. Uh, so these are the two plays I'm rolling with. I've got them at the uh, same exact for prize picks and underdog um, exact same lines, thankfully. But I'm going James Harden over 13 and a half rebounds and assists. I know this is going to get bumped up. And Steph Curry over 34 and a half uh, PRA. I also think will get bumped up. What are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, I'm taking uh, Kelly Olenek for under 14 and a half rebounds and assists. And Terry Rozier for over 17 and a half points and rebounds. All right. Well, before we break these down, I uh, just want to tell you guys about Daily Grind. They're our official partner. Uh, they make all of the tools that we love to use every day, including the DFS Optimizer. They're giving all of our viewers 25% off when you use code BACKDOOR. You can go to dgfantasy.com or just uh, go through the link in the description of the video. Um, all right. So let's get started with James Harden. Uh, we've got this game against the Suns. Uh, they have two two games against the Suns left uh, on the season. We have a 24 and a half over under Suns favored by seven and a half fingers crossed. I really hope we can get it done. Um, should be a really good game. Uh, let's take a look here. So uh, if we take a look at Harden uh, rebounds and assists uh, over the last five, he's gone over it three times. Look at this massive game against Utah. We went for 10 boards and 15 assists. So, so awesome. Um, he's averaging 32.9 minutes per game and 15.4 uh, potential assists, 8.6 rebounds. I don't have to go into detail too much uh, for this play. Uh, you guys know how good he is. Um, and he's got a killer matchup against the Suns, uh, against shooting guards. I know he plays a uh, point guard traditionally. It's still pretty decent. 10th um, in rebounds allowed, 22nd in assists allowed. Uh, if he does hop over to the two for uh, any part of the game, 24th in rebounds allowed, 24th in assists allowed. So the main thing we're looking at, he'll he'll get like a decent amount of rebounds, but we want him to be able to just go off on assists. But this line is so low, like um, he, he could definitely hit this. Uh, if we take a look at the head-to-head, -head, he's beat this both, uh, both times they've matched up. Um, on January 3rd, he went for 16, and on the 8th, he went for 17. So we just need 14. So I'm feeling good about this play. If we hop over here to the DFS optimizer, they have this as the top play for James Harden on prize picks at 52.76% odds to hit the over. Minus 132 is what DG has the odds at, um, but we already have FanDuel bumping this up to 14 and a half. Uh, everyone that has it at 13 and a half has it at a minus 125 or higher. Feeling great about that. Uh, let's see, underdog, same situation. Top play on underdog for Harden, similar situation. Uh, everyone but FanDuel still has it at 13 and a half. So we're trying to jump on this quick. So we're gonna try to get through this video a little bit quicker today. Um, all right, so Steph Curry, 232 over under in this game uh, against the Lakers. Again, this is going to be a fun one. Uh, this is really an important game for both teams. Um, 232 over under, Lakers favored by one and a half. Should be a banger. If we hop over here to Outlier, um, Steph has been going off and doing Steph things again lately. Uh, three out of his last five games, he's went for 39 or more PRA. We just need 35. Uh, I know this is going to go up, though. Um, Let's take a look at this matchup a little bit closer. So the Lakers are 25th in points allowed to point guards, 19th in rebounds allowed, 17th in assists allowed. It's just a super juicy matchup for the greatest shooter of all time. 32.4 uh, minutes a game over the last five, just 1.4 fouls. He's never in foul trouble. 19 attempts uh, from the field per game, shooting 46%. 10 threes a game, shooting 41%, uh, 8.6 rebound chances, and uh, 9.2 potential assists over the last five. So this is just looking super juicy. And then look at this when we go head to head. Look at that history against the Lakers. 
So he's gone over this nine out of his last 10 games against the Lakers. So uh, he loves to show out. I'm feeling great about this play. Let's uh, see what the optimizer has to say about this play. They have it as his, as his top play as well on prize picks, 53.06% odds to hit the over. They have it at a minus 133. And uh, once again, FanDuel is all the way up at 36.5. So this is going to get bumped. We want to jump on this one quick. A um, couple different platforms have it all the way up at 36. So 34.5, I would lock this in. Now let's check um, the optimizer for underdog. So underdog is showing that the rebounds and assists for Curry uh, are available. And uh, that's they have that juiced a little bit higher at minus 136, uh, if you prefer that. But uh, I'm going to go with just the full PRA on both. Um, for underdog, it's at a 52.54% odds to hit the over at a minus 132. So feeling good about this play, but go with your gut. Uh, if you're interested in checking out this app outlier uh, it's amazing and I, I say it every video because it really is uh, if you guys want to try it out if you have nothing to lose just go through the link in the description of the video and they'll give you a seven day free trial all right jordy let's hear about yours bro all right yeah so before i get into my place here i just want to quickly tell you guys about chalkboard um if you don't want to hear it you can find the pics all over um <laughs> i'm not even gonna go there <laughs> but um yeah um if you want to check out chalkboard uh definitely check it out man it's a lot of fun it's another prop betting platform just like prize picks you can bump lines up and down i could take terry rogier's points and rebounds at 17 and a half and bump it up to like 18 19 and a half get a higher multiplier on it bump it lower get a lower multiplier it's a lot of fun if you guys want to check it out go use code backdoor at checkout and they'll match your first deposit up to 100 dollars as well so if you guys want 100 percent deposit match on all these different platforms code backdoor is the way to go um, cool. So Kelly Olenek, old Kiki, um, we're taking him for under the 14 and a half rebounds and assist mark. Um, I love this play. Even with all this time he's been getting, he's only hit this in three out of the last 20 games. Um, in those matchups he hit it in was Philly, uh, without Embiid. He hit it against New York, which is impressive. And then Washington. But, um, you know, this matchup isn't very tough, but they're, they're kind of middle of the road. 15th in rebounds, 20th in assists. He does get a lot of assists, so it could be a little bit of uh, danger in that area. But honestly, with how little he's gone over this, I think one, I think the Pacers are going to absolutely run the floor on them. Um, let's go ahead and just pull this over under up really quick. Um, so yeah, they're favored by 10 and a half and a 239 over under. I think they're going to get ran over, honestly. I think they'll probably have the starter sitting after like 25 to 30 minutes. Um, hopefully and uh, I think he should get out of there pretty quick so if not I still like him to go under this um, he just hasn't hit this really at all this year I mean 11 out of 75 games I know he didn't get that many minutes for this you know the entire year but a lot of these games he has and he's just missed it so um, I really like the under here so I'm going to be taking that one daily grind it's favored to go under at a 52.87% chance and a minus 132 so liking the odds on this one next one is terry rogier for over 17 points and rebounds um he's done this pretty much all year long 47 out of 61 games he's done this um 15 out of his last 20 six out of his last 10 three out of his last five um it's a great matchup for him um if we look here to point guards 30th and points allowed 27th and rebounds allowed so he is uh, questionable. So that brings me to my next thing here. Everyone on the Heat is questionable tomorrow. They've all been playing through it because it's kind of grind time right now. Um, he's having neck spasms. Um, he's pretty much just saying he's like uncomfortable, but he's playing through it. Um, but there, this is a head to head. So they said he does have potential to like if he wanted to to sit, but he said he's going to try to play through it. So just keep an eye on this one. Um, there's a lot of value in these plays that where the injuries are pending because they don't really move them a lot. But just keep an eye on it. Um, I'll try to keep you guys posted tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, Kevin Love, Nikola Vucevic, um, or Jovic, however you say his name, uh, Bam Adebayo, Duncan Robinson, everyone is questionable. So I think he'll probably play through it. If not, they're going to have a bad time. But um, big game here. If we look at the over-under on this one, we got the Heat versus the Hawks. So it should be a nice over-under. 223 with a three-point favorite to the Heat. But the Hawks have been sneaky. So... We'll see how this game goes. This play is favored to go over at a 51.23% uh, chance. His rebounds are heavily favored to go under if you guys want to go that route, but I just don't like it. The dude can rip down four rebounds, no problem. And it's juiced at a 54% to go under. You just couldn't pay me enough to take that under. But yeah, that's the two plays I've got. 
All right, guys, that's the four we're rolling with for first look. We'll definitely be back for uh, the full board tomorrow with our daily show, Taco Tuesday. Uh, can't wait to get into it. It should be a banger of a slate with 14 games. So much on the line on uh, both the Western and Eastern Conference. Uh, if you guys want to check out our Discord, we're still having fun in here, still cashing as a, as a family. Um, if you guys want to come check it out, there's a link in the description of the video. It's about 50 cents a day to join. And if you go through that link and go up to server subscriptions, just uh, click subscribe there and it'll unlock all the channels. You can hop into the community chat, let us know you're new um, and uh, follow us on our socials too. Uh, we're on X, Instagram, TikTok. Um, we're uh, posting bonus content over our, on those. And we've got our, our man Moose who's uh, posting two man slips daily and he's just been cashing like he always does. So go tell um, Moose. yeah. <laughs> what was that? It's like go tail moose. Go tail back moose. Door, check out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, uh, enjoy the rest of your night and uh, enjoy this uh, NCAA game. And by the way, it, we're we're going to be starting uh, fantasy football content soon. So um, we're trying to decide if we should just do redraft or if you guys want dynasty content as well. So let us know in the comments uh, if you guys play fantasy football. And yeah, have a good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Good luck, guys.